Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Joe Cortez, joined by James Burns of FrontRowPreps.com. Time now for our large school football rankings brought Big to you by Valley Orthopedic, the bone and joint specialist. Let's dive in at number 10, Patterson. Yeah. Coming off a loss to Modesto High. 47-40 to Modesto High. Great game. game. Game of the week. Game of the week. You were there, took it all in. Um, had a, Patterson had trouble tackling, wrapping up Zaire Eugene. Davion, Davion, Davion Graves. Davion Graves, what a monster game. I still like the Tigers. I still feel like they're a top 10 program. That's yeah. why we kept them at number 10. We didn't drop them out. Um, you know, now, now comes the second season, and they've got a big one right out the gate. they got a big one right out the gate with Buhack Colony, and the CCC is going to be a tough lead for yeah. the Tigers. And uh, at number nine, let's welcome in the Modesto Panthers. Hello. I got a chance to meet Davion Graves today. Mm -hmm. Stop by Modesto High. Because? Well, he... He was an athlete of the week candidate. He was an athlete of the week candidate. Athlete candidate. Didn't, didn't win the vote. Did not win the fans but vote. But who told you to take a t-shirt over him? Joe Cortez said, hey, listen, this kid, this kid, pick six, over 100 yards rushing, and a pivotal eight-yard touchdown that really kind of stymied. On fourth down. When um, stymied tiger, the Tigers run. When Patterson's lead, when Modesto's lead had been cut to three after leading by 17 yeah. in the second quarter on fourth and Fourth and goal yeah. inside the 10. Yeah. He comes up with a big TD kick. Uh, coming in at number eight, Manteca, your alma mater. Yeah, they shocked the world last week with right. a big win. Big over, win. Big win over Tracy. We thought that we actually had picked that game to go the other way against the Buffaloes. They were kind of scuffling on a two-game losing streak. You know, I had a chance to talk with uh, Buffalo coach Mark Barnum, and he said, listen, we returned one guy on defense. You know, we were going to have to stumble and fall before we learned to, to walk and run and and uh, he said that the Downey game was their stumble. The Granada game, which is a very good Granada team, mm -hmm. was part of that that learning curve. And uh, he feels like they answered the call. You know, they feel like they got their mojo back in just in time. Did he really say listen? Yeah. Did. So let's move on to number uh, seven, Buhack Colony. Thunder have won three of their first four games, and now they prepare for a big test to open CCC play. Patterson. They've got Patterson coming into town. Number six, Oakdale, another Valley Oak League team. Oakdale has a tough test mm -hmm. to start to start the VOL. You know, this, this was a game that Tremors on had circled early on and said, listen, like this, this isn't gonna be a walk in the park for, for the Mustangs. Uh, they go to East Union. Mm -hmm. uh, East Union is is got some it's got the most talent it's ever had probably under Willie Herrera. Now can they channel all of that talent and athleticism into a W? You know, it's been kind of touch and go through the first few weeks of the season. Uh, but I, you know, this is the VOL season. It's VOL time. It's league time, and this is kind of the, it's it's that point in the calendar when Trent Merzon's clubs start to find another gear. And I think that the Mustangs will go on the road and get it done this week. Number five, Turlock tumbling from the number two spot. It's the second week in a row our number two team has tumbled out of that spot. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that number two spot, but it's still very high on the on the mm -hmm. Turlock Bulldogs. But Absolutely. it's the inconsistencies through the first uh, the first four weeks that. Uh, seem a bit alarming. I mean, the 0-2 on the road, uh, I think good teams are able to go on the road and get a W, um, and uh, they've yet to prove that. Number four, the Downey Knights. they got a big game this week against uh, high-flying McClymans out of the Oakland City section. If Downey can get this victory, I think it's a, it's a great springboard going into the CCAL opener against Turlock. They've got to go on the road. Talk about good teams going on the road to get mm -hmm. a win. Uh, you know, Downing opens the CCAL at Turlock, and I think that this victory, if they're able to beat McClymans, McClymans is on a two-game skid, um, I think it'd be a good springboard for Jeremy Block Punch. Uh, number three, Pittman, the team nobody's talking about, undefeated, 4-0. Yeah, Pittman's just rolling along, and it looks like by all accounts they're going to be 4-0. They take on Somerville this week. Uh, Somerville has, has struggled uh, with losses against Rippin Christian, uh, Houston last week, and uh, I think we can go and put it up on the board that they're going to get beat by Pittman. <laughs> This week and uh, number two, you know why the number two team isn't going to fall this week? Oh, because it's because uh, it's, it's, it's my Merced, it's my alma mater, the Merced Bears, coming in at number two, They're gunning for Central Catholic. <laughs> uh, but first, they got to take on Central Valley. <laughs> That's uh, right. And the, the, That's bear, right. the Bears are high flying right now. I, I, I don't. I, I wrote this at FrontRowPreps.com this week. Yep. I don't think there's a defense in the CCC uh, that that's going to hold that team to to fewer than thirty points. You know, and I, you could even kind of go out on them and say 40 points the way they've been scoring. They're averaging 50 and a half points per game. They're rolling right now. And uh, I think that they'll stick tight. They'll, they'll, they'll break this number two jinx here. They'll, they'll stick tight for a week. Tough matchup for Central Valley. And at number one, they've been number one all season. Yeah. 
And we've got a special guest here this week who's going to come in and join us. He missed his cue. He should already be over here. <laughs> Roger Canova, How's thanks for going? joining us, Coach. Thanks, guys. Up, Coach? Your Central Catholic Raiders, number one in the vaunted front row preps, yeah. uh, large school rankings. What do rankings even mean to you? Well, I, I mean, they're rankings. Uh, you still got to play the football game, but it, it's always good to be number one compared to 21. You with me? So, I mean, it, it shows we're playing good football teams. We played three very good, uh, uh, four very good football teams already. Now we start league, and so we're Manteca and us are both 0 0. Everybody in league, it's a new slate. That was preseason. So now it's league time. Good thing is, we this is our third game at home. It's nice. So we, we start at home, which we have a great record at home. But, you know, Manteca's always played us tough. We've been in overtime with them, one by a touchdown, one by a field goal. We expect to get a great game. They, they got a great football program. A new coach is doing a great job, so we expect the best game we're going to get, you know, right off the bat. Coach, you're ducking Merced, aren't you? Yeah. No, <laughs> no we, we couldn't figure out how to play them on that schedule. No. I'd like to play Merced sometime, so Coach, call me. We'll set that up. Well, there you go. Look what we've done here. Yeah, we'll a little that. matchmaking. We'll broker to do Coach, you know, he's a Manteca guy, right? I know he is. He always picks Manteca, so. <laughs> we'll stick around. Stick around. Stick around. We're still the prediction show next. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick around. It'll happen again. Coach, no. thanks for joining us. Yep, yeah, thank you, guys. And thank you here. for joining us here on the Front Row Preps Large School Rankings Show, brought to you by Valley Orthopedic, the bone and joint specialists. For James Burns and Coach Roger Canepa, I'm Joe Cortez. We'll see you next time.